Tom. Yeah, again. Um, <coughs> World Cup starts three weeks on Sunday. Um, <coughs> you're going to have a look, not an awful lot of players, and as as a many many teams in the Premier League. Uh, do you sense the players sub subconsciously are starting to think about it or protect themselves, or is it easy for them to keep it, keep it out of the mind? We were just thinking, like you know. Uh, Never had that question yet, so we are the first one to ask the question. So that's probably the moment when people start thinking about it, when you start asking about it. So it's a logical thing. It's every happens every year when you're, usually the World Cup is in the summer, and the big finals are in the summer as well. So if you're involved in a final, the Champions League, FA Cup, whatever, European League um, final, there's no player who thinks in that moment about the World Cup. A little bit later, they want to win that final. So, and if you can, if the last match day is the decisive day for qualifying for the Champions League, for staying in the league, there's no player I know I ever met who would then think, mm, be careful, because the players, the players I know and our players for sure are 1,000 percent committed with us here. But um, as I said, when you, you know, when everybody's now starting asking, then in that moment it, the process starts. That's how it, that's how that's normal. I don't say it will be have a massive impact, but. Then you start thinking about it. I don't know. Think any, the the players who think about the World Cup are the players who got get injured in that moment. Then they count days. So that's normal. Uh, so you saw obviously a few dramatic scenes. Players from other clubs or or, or um, Diogo as well, but um, not before a game, after a game. No, it's a normal situation. So after after a specific game in the season. It's usually the last game of the season. A big tournament is waiting, and this year is not the last game. It's, I don't know, game number 16, 15, 14. I don't know exactly, um, but that's the only difference. Apart from that, the, the players are used to that. Dave, uh, do, you, do you expect it to be a different Liverpool after the World Cup? If different means, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's not my. It's honestly not my not my subject. So yes, we will be different. Yes, we will have trained. Yes, we will have players back. But it depends to how come the players back to from the World Cup. I can have no idea about that. Of course, these kind of things are unfair. If they all come back healthy from the World Cup, if they all go out early, <laughs> have a break, and uh, and can then train with us for three and uh, three and a half weeks, um, yeah, yeah, that would be absolutely outstanding. But um, there are a lot of ifs. So and. No, I'm not interested in, the, in, the, in that moment, in this moment, in the Liverpool after the World Cup. I'm interested in the Liverpool the, the, tomorrow. I guess. It, <coughs> I mean, you said just just before that you, you're unfortunately not around Manchester City, like some of the other clubs. But you, you're kind of just about close enough. If it is an unusual season where they, I, <laughs> if if you are. If we would have won against Nottingham, we would have 19 points, and then we would be a bit closer than now with 16. So I know that, but we didn't. So why should we talk about that? I mean, the problem is, so when we talk about our situation, how can we improve it? It's, it's, it sounds like we just have to play better, and then, ah, okay, I have still an opponent. So, and Leeds is really going for it. Eh? Leeds is super lively, super aggressive. It's not like I think Chelsea, Salzburg, Leipzig. Was a lot of high press stuff like this. Now it's a lot of midfield press, make spaces really small, going for counter attacks. A lot of really good players, talented players. Bamford is back. Um, then uh, so Harrison, Aronson, speed and um, desire. Then they have real <laughs> machines. I'm not sure Adams can play, but if he can play, then another uh, hard, hardest worker in midfield. So there's a lot to like about this team, to be honest. And they have no result. The last six, seven games, no real result, and um, so they will be here. And I heard only a little bit yesterday when I passed the screen, and I heard just Jesse March saying, "I'm sick of <laughs> losing." So, and he's already very emotional on the touchline. So now being sick of losing and any emotional on the touchline, that will be. A, so, I can you imagine how he will? We saw this halftime talk what he had with Salzburg, so he's obviously in the dressing room pretty lively, so he will set them on fire. So that's our opponent. I could, how could I think for a second about the time after the World Cup? We have to be prepared for this game, nothing else. Paul Ghost. Yeah, I just wanted to ask about Naby. You said that tomorrow might come too soon for him. No, no, Naby's still in, in, a, in a long, longer rehab phase. So will he be able to contribute before the, the, the break? Will be tight. 
Um, and how much more difficult will that be for him then, given the, the kind of break in play, you know? I think that you Nabi know, will have a full pre-season with us in December, and that will be perfect for him. So you, you think it might be more towards the new year before we finally see a fully fit Nabi Keita? Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Even if he can play before, if he has no chance to be fully fit, he com comes then out of rehab. Um, and yeah, we have five games, so I wouldn't rule him out now for one or two of them, but in this moment he's there's still a gap to fill.